I think I found two videos a certain YouTube channel could talk about, but I'm not gonna mention his name. This is the Phoenix Fight Week for Fighters Pass. And of course, this emphasizes a lot of bad Smash Bros. weeks in a nutshell. First of all, it's very blurry and is not a clear image. That is a problem with a lot of these bad weeks. It is just so blurry that it's very, very hard. It's much more harder than see this image than a normal image. And yeah, this is the this is basically has been going on for the longest time. Many Smash weeks have this blurring effect. And you can really see here for Phoenix White Smash Bros. Fighters. Also, I don't seem to see the fighter number anywhere because the image is so blurry and don't know where the tab don't can't really see the tabs. Who knows? This guy might have just photoshopped this in as an image. Considering that there had been many photoshopped images like this in the past, cannot see why this isn't photoshopped either. But yeah, Phoenix Saga will be a pretty cool and unique addition to Smash Bros. Capcom is another one of Capcom's franchises that could be added to Smash Bros. Capcom already has Street Fighter and, of course, Mega Man and Smash Bros. With Street Fighter being one of the most famous gaming franchises in the world and most influential franchises in the world in terms of fighting games. And Phoenix Wright is, of course, of the Ace Attorney series is a much more niche franchise. But it's still one of the most popular out of its genre, the visual novel series. I see Phoenix Wright far more likely than a certain ma than a certain girl from Doki Doki Wizard Club or any other crappy anime visual novel character. Because Phoenix Wright's games have sold really, really well on the DS. And 3DS as well. Buying the American releases because nobody wanted to buy the games on digital because Capcom is Capcom. But there we go. Phoenix Wright and Smash Bros. may actually happen. But I don't see it very likely as well. So yep, that's basically it. Goodbye.